Alright, so in the previous part we uh, took care of Sniper Wolf once again, and uh, now it's time to actually head to the underground base. And I see, oh, I see cameras right there. Uh, we get the good old chaff grenade ready. Oh, they just about saw me there. Right, let's go. Nothing there, alright. The blast furnace. That's the quick little area, we can get through it, no bother. Which one I might do is equip the SOCOM because we will have some guards right here. Oh, like that one there. What a shot. Now I gotta actually be careful with did, did he just fall off? <laughs> oh that was nice. Now Oh I do remember you have to crouch along this part, otherwise that thing will knock you off. And into your death. You would Yeah, oh good. It's coming right for us. Actually Hmm. I think I see a guard down there. Oh, have to really be careful when walking on this because Actually Yeah, see he just got alerted there. Oh, did I just shoot him in the dick? <laughs> oh god, am I? I'm so bad with the dick shots. Alright. And that takes care of the blast furnace. <laughs> now, if I do remember, there is an ambush that uh, happens when you're on these elevators, so... Equip the farmers ready. I think it happens in this one because there's so many of them. Oh, here we go. Called it. Oh, oh excuse me. Uh, four and one. We can take him. No bother at all. One just died I wasn't even aiming from. And down goes the other one. Huh, there was only three. Where's the fourth fella? Where's the other guy? <laughs> oh, that's good. Alright. Oh, wait, camera. Uh, chaff grenade. Do your thing. I don't think there's any items around there that's worth getting, so just mosey on. Back and cross. Away from me. Bard. Snake. I've got something to oh, it's yourself. What about her? Is this conversation As Nick said. <laughs> Don't worry, the monitor's off. Okay. What's up? I was in the FBI too, you know. I didn't know that. What's your point? Dr. Hunter's story about her background, about her grandfather being an assistant secretary to... Oh, this is about what she was saying, like, earlier. And then going undercover to investigate the Mafia in New York? Yeah, what about it? It was all a big lie. What did you say? It was really bothering me. Why would she lie about it? Yeah, Miller was getting fishy about that when she was talking about. Spy. Ridiculous. Come on. 
Even a high school student could see past it. Did oh, yeah. Naomi say that her father was Japanese? Yeah. At the time when Edgar Hoover was head of the FBI, there wasn't a single Asian investigator. Also, in the 50s, the undercover mafia sting operations hadn't even started yet. They first started in 1960 in Chicago, not New York. But yeah, she got her facts wrong. The chief and the president mysteriously dying. That ninja. Too many strange things are happening. Are you saying that Naomi might be behind it? I don't know. Either that, or she's working with the terrorists. Could it be? If I find out anything, I'll call. In the meantime, be careful. Right here. Oh, you little bastard. Fuck off. Look, ball, bang. <laughs> oh, God. Right. Might as well get myself to full health here. Akita bullets. Oh, we're full on that. Might need it for this boss fight coming up. C4. Uh, yeah, they, they might do. I uh, think, well, the one thing I will use is the Claymore. So, on we go with this next boss fight. And it's another familiar face from before. What's that? Ah! Back in boards again. I only killed two of them. Ah, it's himself. Vulcan Raven. And he is packing heat. Look at that minigun. This is the end of the road for you. Right, my friends? They're becoming excited. <laughs> How dare you kill my friends? I only killed two of them. Scavengers like most people. Jesus. They're simply returning to the natural world, that which is no longer needed. Sometimes they even attack wounded foxes. You were the one in the M1 tank. Must have been a tight fit for a big boy like you. <laughs> <laughs> But that At least he took that was battle. That wasn't even a real fight. Yeah, I get it because yeah, you weren't even <laughs> didn't have the balls to show up. You used fucking two genome soldiers in that fight. The judgment is decided. The ravens say you are a true warrior. That's kind of them. Maybe. I I can't move. The raven has put the mark of death upon you. Blood from Get off me head flows within your veins. Ah, your ancestors too were raised on the barren plains of Mongolia. Inuit and Japanese are cousins to each other. We share many ancestors, you and I. Well, do we know? There's no crows in my family tree. You ready? I am not fond of snakes, but you are family, so I cannot complain. But there will be no holding Good. back. He could easily fucking shoot me right there if he wanted to. Just absolutely make mince meat out of snake. Alaska too. You know of the World Eskimo Indian Olympics. With that strength, you must have been training in the stick pull at four man carry. Yes, you are right. But there is another event that I excel at. 
What was that? It is called the ear pull. <sighs> Sounds painful. It's panther. an event where two opponents pull each other's ears while enduring the harsh cold. It tests okay, that does sound painful. As well as physical strength. You want to pull each other's ears? The form is different, but the spirit they probably is probably ripped the, the air off the lad. <laughs> snake. Ours will be a glorious battle. That yeah, should be a good one. This is glorious. It's just plain killing. Glorious. I won't give in. I well, won't give in till I'm victorious. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do it. Aha! Nice one. No, I don't think the stinger is really that good to use in um, this boss battle. You know, with all them crates in the way, they'll just eventually hit one of them instead of Raven. Oh yeah, like that's gonna help. Fucking so calm. <laughs> that raven's like the fucking referee. Where right, has I want a good clean fight? As Miss Lane would say, now let's get it out! <laughs> you know Miss Lane from a uh, good old celebrity death match. That was fucking class back then. The um when they brought it back, it was okay. Whoa. Oh god, he's telling me. So what I'm really gonna do is I'm just gonna circle around here, just put like claymores in different spaces. Just kinda hope he actually walks right into one. I better move because he's really close to me here. So I just Run right into my fucking Claymore. Oh. Oh god. Where are that? Now, there is actually, you could use the, um. The Nikita, but. I don't know, I kind of find that method a bit, you know, slow to, um. Get used to. Actually. I was wondering what I could, um. What kind of damage the PS2 G1 could do. I like to find oh you just walked it right into one there. Right, she picked up a few more there. Oh, he's heading this way. I don't think the claymores are doing that much damage really. Uh Keep going, going here. Whoa, you saw me. Go, 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 go. Uh, yeah. Actually, his head is really going down here. We can get him uh, fairly quick here if we, uh, oh, yeah, he saw me. He'll come right for us now. There we go, we got him. <laughs> I was never trying to see what I could do with the PSG1, how much damage that would do, but that seemed to do the trick. And fairly quick, alright. Right, bet ya. Just as the boss said. It is my existence which is no longer needed in this world. 
but my body will not remain in this place. My spirit and my flesh will become one with the ravens. In that way, I will return to Mother Earth who bore me. Oh, yeah, this is where he'll um. I will be watching you. He'll be uh, giving us some um. Bit of truth on some things that have happened, especially with the DARPA chief. Snake, take this security card. Oh, it's the level seven key card. The last one, actually. You are a snake, which was not created by nature. You and the boss, you are from another world. A world that I do not wish to know. Go and do battle with him. I will be watching from above. First, I'll give you a hint. The man you saw die before your eyes. The DARPA chief. That was or was it? The DARPA chief. Nope. It was Decoy Octopus, a member of Foxhound. Pity we never get to um, fight him or actually encounter him. I wonder what that boss fight would have been like. He was a master of disguise. He copied his subjects down to the blood. And there he is right so there. The chief's blood and took it yeah, so the real DARPA chief was actually in that cell we were in. Um, back in the tank hangar. You know, with all the leeches, like, on him. But why go to so much trouble? Why impersonate the chief? <laughs> that is the end of my hint. You must solve oh, tell me more. the riddle yourself. And this is where he now dies. Wait. Oh, here come the birds. Sorry, something just fell there <laughs> uh, from the shelf there. I'll deal with it later. That's a poster on the wall there. They're coming down. Snake. In the natural world, there is no such thing as boundless slaughter. There is Damn, look at all the blood for an album. But you are different. What are you trying to say? The path you walk on has no end. So the ravens are no matter how far you picking at his flesh. Or how many corpses you crawl over. The what a way to go. End. It's a future without hope. Hear me, snake. I hear you. My spirit will be watching you. And he's gone. Just like that. Pity we can't use the minigun. <laughs> sure he can't even lift. Oh, phone call. And that takes care of Vulcan Raven. Snake, it's me. Master? It's about Naomi. Turn your monitor off. What about Naomi? Damn. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, is Naomi there? No, she's away. She's taking a short nap. So what is this about Naomi? Okay, maybe we'd better let the colonel hear this too. Yeah. Alright, let him in, huh? Well, 
basically, Dr. Naomi Hunter is not Dr. Naomi Hunter at all. What? I thought her story of her background sounded kind of fishy, so I checked it out. And? There is an actual Dr. Naomi Hunter, or I should say, there was one. But she's not the woman we know. The real Naomi Hunter disappeared somewhere in the Middle East. Our Naomi must have somehow obtained her identification papers. So then hmm. who is she really? She must be some kind of spy. A spy? Yes. Maybe she's been sent to sabotage this operation. Are you saying she's with the terrorists? I don't want to believe it either, but she is working for Foxhound. Yeah, he's right there. So you think she had a part in the uprising? Or she could be working with some different group altogether. A different group? It couldn't be. Place her under arrest, Colonel. What? She's betrayed us, Colonel. She needs to be arrested and interrogated to find out who she's with. If she's one of their spies, then we're in big trouble. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. Colonel, <laughs> have you let her in on some kind of vital secret or something? God damn it, Colonel. Does this have anything to do with the mysterious deaths of the DARPA chief and the arms tech president? You mean decoy octopus, lad. No idea. Anyway, we cannot allow her to participate any further in this mission. Wait. Wait a minute. Without her, we can't complete this mission. I knew it. You're hiding something. <laughs> like how Snake always assumes that. <laughs> Hurry then. We've got to figure out who she is and what she's doing here. I understand. Snake, give me some time. I don't have any time left for you. Oh, Snake's having none of it. All right, so that takes care of Vulcan Raven, and in the next part we'll be uh, now heading to the uh, underground base where Mel Gear's being held. So see you guys then.